welcome everybody to my playthrough of Halo 3. Playing the Master Chief Collection version because why not? Why not? Hopefully everyone is doing well. I have not tested audio so I don't know how loud this is compared to me. Probably way too loud. I'll turn it down a little bit. Fun times are ahead. I have streamed Halo 1 and 2. But I have not streamed Halo 3. So let's do it. We'll quick start. Start from the beginning. We are playing on Heroic. So expect me to die a lot. How is everyone doing on this lovely, lovely Wednesday? It has been five days since I last streamed. E3 2018 has happened. We'll talk about that straight after Cortana. Tells us some nice things. They let me pick. Did I ever tell you that? Choose whichever Spartan I wanted. You know me. I did my research, watched as you became the soldier we needed you to be. Like the others, you were strong and swift and brave. A natural leader. But you had something they didn't. Something no one saw but me. Can you guess? Luck. I've missed this opening. I love it so much. Was I wrong? This ain't good. Damn. How far did he fall? Two kilometers. Easy. Stay sharp. Gorman? His armor's locked up. Gel layer could have taken most of the impact. I don't know, Sergeant Major. Vito. Heavy lift gear. We're not leaving him here. Yeah, you're not. Oh, crazy fool. Why do you always jump? One of these days, you're gonna land on something as stubborn as you are. And I don't do bits and pieces. Where is she, Chief? Where's Cortana? She's in the toilet. Don't make a girl a promise, if you know you can't keep it. She stayed behind. Corporal, make it quick. Sorry, sir. Your armor's still in partial lockdown. Ah, uh, see, we even skipped the viewing tutorial. Chief, wait! The Arbiter's with us! Come on, now. Got enough to worry about without you two trying to kill each other. Were it so easy. Were it so easy. We must go. The brutes have our scent. Then they must love the smell of hero. That must be his heroic dialogue that he changes what he says there. Right, I've lowered the volume to about 18. Hopefully that's good when we're in game. Let me know if it's too loud or when I'm shooting a gun and stuff. If, if I it just drowns me out. Or if it's too quiet or too loud, whatever. Anyway, so I've been playing Mass Effect on stream since April. So playing a game on stream that isn't Mass Effect feels crazy. So fun times ahead. So yeah, I'll shoot the gun. It seems good in my headphones, but you never know. Man, it has been too long since i played Halo 3. So we're going to be playing three missions per stream, which means there'll only be three streams of this game. Um, it does mean the streams are going to go pretty long, like two to three hours. 
And there are nine missions in this game in total, so we're going to do three per stream. This is the shortest mission in the game. Um, Crow's Nest is pretty short too, but Sava Highway Mission 3 is one of my favorites. So. Um, I also haven't played this game on Heroic in a very long time. The last time I ran through it was just on Normal, I think with a couple of skulls on. But I'm doing a Zero Skulls standard Heroic playthrough. Sergeant Major, Phantom inbound. I was so hyped when this game came out, I was going crazy. Uh, I've played Halo 1 and 2 uh, already on stream. Uh, they're on the archive, fdr4streams.com, which is just a forward link to my YouTube archive page. So I've already done 1 and 2, and I plan on always doing more. I want to um, revisit ODST pretty soon, because I love ODST. So we've got the brute, we've got some grunts hanging about. Why can't I crouch it? Oh no. Oh no, the buttons are diff- wait a second. What control layout am I using? No, button layout. Universal Reclaimer. That doesn't feel like Halo 3 to me. Since when was Crouch? Yeah, I think that is the one I want. Yeah, there we go. And then this is melee. Yeah, that, that feels like Halo 3. Ready for me to die? I'm certainly going to die here. I'm going to become overzealous and think I'm too good. Oh my god! Where did you come from? Ow! I'm fine. I'm alive. I'm somehow alive anyway. Yeah, this is like the standard Halo 3 control scheme, which is just the one I want to play with. Nothing overly, overly fancy. Right, take that grunt on that turret out. Yeah, and this game still looks incredible in my opinion. I love the way this game looks. They, this is the last time, other than ODST, when I feel like Halo's art style was perfect. Reach was pretty good, but this is like... Um, I, I, I don't know why I still have the pistol. It's the slowest firing piece of crap in the world. Um, I love um, how this game looks. Anyway, fun fact, there's a skull over here. There you go. I won't point them all out. I thought I'd point that one out. It's like the easiest one to find in all of Halo. Oh, we stuck a grunt. Jesus, didn't even mean to. Someone has a... I think it is a... Death number one! I was going to say someone has a carbine. Alright, let's do that again. Get ready for a lot of that. Because, um... I haven't played Halo 3 in far too long, so I'm out of practice. Look, look how slow the pistol fires, though. Look at this. I died! That's what you get, Demon, for saying the Magnum is the best. It's the worst. Uh, the other game I'm going to be playing, so Halo 3 is every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I'm also going to be streaming Star Wars Republic Commander, one of my other favorite FPSs. Um, I'm going to be streaming that on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. And both of these games will probably be done in three or four streams time. So we'll, before my birthday, which is going to be the 10 hour, 15 hour, billion crazy stream, um, that will, which is the 23rd, Saturday the 23rd. Um, I'll finish these games and then maybe play through Portal 2. And then we'll jump into Ocarina of Time 3DS Remake, which I'm going to be playing in one sitting. So roughly 15 hours is going to take me to finish that game on my birthday. Hey Sky, how's it going? Yeah, welcome to me dying a million times. E3 was really good this year. I, I really liked it. Some people have issues. Um, I really enjoyed it. I thought it was a, a lot of fun. Demon and I, you know, were pretty much there for every conference. Um, in chat. we I was hosting them all um, on here, and we were in chat. It was good fun. Having everyone chatting and talking away. I'm going to die again. Oh, that brood just got owned. 
Uh, lots of games I'm hyped for from E3. Uh, first off, Anthem looks really nice. Uh, that's the only good thing to come out of the E3 conference. Uh, don't talk to me about Unravel 2. I'm the blue one. Uh, and then the Xbox conference, uh, Halo Infinite. Obviously, I am excited for. Um, I love that they're returning to kind of this art style, especially with Chief's armor. Um, Square's conference didn't really have anything happen that I remember. You're unsure about Anthem. I, I feel like what they talked about this time was um, quite enlightening, and I enjoyed it. We have subtitles on, but I guess only for... Um, Cutscenes. I feel like what they talked about in Anthem enticed me. I'm a little worried about playing it solo being too difficult, but we'll see. If there's matchmaking for... We're about to get a Cortana scene, aren't we? No? Okay. Must be the next down. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm fine if Anthem has matchmaking for grouping, because I won't find three other people who play it on my system. It can be impossible. Uh, Babylon's Fall looks really cool, Jackals, and The Quiet Man didn't do much for me. We're talking about Squares Conference now, um, but Babylon's Fall looked pretty, pretty amazing. Um, oh, here we go. This is the gun I wanted. Just give me the carbine all the time, game. I shot a rock twice, everybody. I am the best Halo player. The rock shooting is done. Dwayne Johnson has been shot twice. Surprising, I've got to say, the one surprise for me at E3 is we didn't see Rocksteady, the guy, the, the, the team that developed Arkham Asylum, Arkham City, and Arkham Knight. Where are those guys? It's been like five years since they were at an E3, I think. And like four since Arkham Knight came out. It's crazy. Oh, that's really cool, Demon. That's a good piece of info. I thought the Xbox conference was firing on all cylinders in general. I thought it was very powerful. Um, showed a lot of cool games coming up. Um, yeah, ending with Cyberpunk was really cool. I enjoyed that. I think... Um, Cyberpunk's going to be really cool. Um, some people are a little upset online that it's a first-person shooter, and I'm like, why are you upset that Cyberpunk is a first-person shooter? What were you expecting? Like, third-person? Just because The Witcher was third-person doesn't mean Cyberpunk is going to be. Um, I think um, I think going first-person for a, like a sci-fi open-city RPG is really cool. We don't really have many first-person RPGs, or focused entirely on first-person, because obviously things like Skyrim and Fallout can be played in both. Um, I think Anthem is going to feel like a Bioware game with co-op, and then the end game is going to feel more like Destiny. That's kind of in my head is how I feel like um, I see... Anthem unfolding. Oh. He went flying. He flew pretty good. Yep. He flew pretty good too. Oh, no. No, go away from me. I'm fine. I'm alive. I threw the bubble shield for no reason. Uh, I only have one thing. Oh my god, the Needler. I'm going to pick up the Needler. It's around this corner. Here it is. See, I remember where the guns are. I've played this game too many times. I have the Needler, everybody. This is it. This is the the world-ending weapon. Oh, you can't dual-wield it in Halo 3. I forgot about that. You know how um, in Fallout 76, there's those nuke sites now? We can activate nukes. Let me show you Halo's nuke. It's called the Needler, you son of a brute. Yeah, that's what you get. Mess with a needle, you get needled. Ignite the purple fury. You ready to do this? Let's go. Let him run. 
One of these marine sounds like it's literally just Nolan North talking. You're interested in the new Assassin's Creed? Me too. I really, really loved Origins. Um, so I'm all in for Odyssey. And I love the idea that they're going to, I think it's 461 BC or somewhere around that. It's in the, the 400s BC. Um, Greece. And the map is huge. I don't know if you've, you've seen the map, but it, it is ginormous. Uh, you're going like between all the different Greek islands, uh, naval combat between them. Really, really cool. The BR is here now. Everything is ending. The battle royale is in my hands. You know what? I must say, I'm surprised we didn't see or hear more battle royale talk at E3. We know COD's getting one, and we know EA talked about Battlefield getting one, but other than that and the Fortnite ports, we didn't really hear a lot about Battle Royale, thank God. I thought it was just going to be all this E3 was going to be about was Battle Royale modes. But, guess not. Have they taken out the Cortana sections, or is it up here when she starts appearing? Oh, I think it's down here. I think this literally we drop down here and we get the first Cortana clip. Yep. Could you sacrifice me to complete your mission? Could you watch me die? Yeah, I um, um, I I want more RPGs right now, so I'm I'm happy with that. PlayStation is getting shit for not allowing cross-platform on Fortnite. Yeah, because a lot of people downloaded it on Switch, right? I have like no allegiances to any BR game because I don't play them. I only watch them. Um, so I have no, no thoughts at all towards any of these Battle Royale games. Oh, we should probably watch the Pelicans. One gets hit by a Banshee. There we go. Um, what were we talking about? I don't remember. I, a lot of people were shitting on Sony's press conference because of the how it started, and I agree. While the start was rocky because they did the whole um, church scene with um, the Last of Us, I thought the gameplay they showed made up for that. Now, of course, that intermission between when they switched from that church tent to the main stage did take quite a long time. It kind of broke the momentum of the game, uh, like the games that they were showing. Um, so I understand that, but I definitely don't think it means it was a, the worst conference. I've literally heard people say it was the worst. I mean, they showed long gameplay sections of The Last of Us, Ghost of Tsushima, or Tsushima, I don't know how to pronounce that correctly. Um, Death Stranding got gameplay, we saw in-engine gameplay, we, we had like, we saw that, and of course more Spider-Man. I mean, those were the big four I was looking forward to, and we got all four. I just threw a grenade at myself. Oh god, why is there a brute here? He got stuck. He's a dead brute. Tsushima. Tsushima! Um, and I, I, I thought even the extra games they showed at Sony, like Project 7 from Remedy being called Control, um, was looks amazing. Really excited for all the st Oh god, I'm dead. All the stuff that they showed at Sony's conference. I think if I had to say who won, I think I would give it to Microsoft purely because it was just an onslaught of games, which I think is the best way to do E3 is just go mental with it and just show game after game after game, unveil, unveil, unveil. But I also really, really close second loved how Sony did it with their deep dives and the very focused um, dives on those games. Uh, Bethesda's conference started off weirdly, Sky. It was um, really kind of... I hated the music at the beginning. It was just like a, a concert, a live concert for someone called Andrew WK or something, who everyone else knows but me, supposedly. Um, I liked the ending of the Bethesda conference because Todd Howard came out and focused on Fallout 76. He focused on uh, Elder Scrolls Blades, which is a new Elder Scrolls uh, mobile game, which actually looks really cool. And then he focused on, um, and then he teased Starfield and Elder Scrolls 6, which is very cool. And I'm glad that we got 
uh, little teases of what we can see in the next 20 years. Uh, Starfield is what I've been hyped about from Bethesda for a really long time. Ever since like people started theorizing from when the trademark went up years ago of what Starfield could be, I've been hyped for that. Like a, a, my rumor, like the rumors and my guesses of what it would be is it's a solar system that you explore and you can go to these different open worlds on these different planets. Um, and you can like upgrade your ship, do space combat. Um, and the Starfield name comes from these warp points where you can jump between different parts of the system, which is, I think, what we saw the little, um, like the little Starflower satellites that we saw in the trailer for Starfield. I'm super hyped for Starfield. I love hard sci-fi. It's my favorite genre, like, you know, space. Because, like, uh, Fallout sci-fi, but I mean, like, hard sci-fi is, like, space, um, warping around different planets, that sort of stuff, which is really cool. Uh, they showed a trailer, uh, Sky, so they showed the, the logo, they showed a planet, and they showed, like, a satellite. Um, and that's, the, um, and things like that. It was all, like, a CG trailer. Um, but that's all they're showing for Starfield, maybe until next year or the year after. He said that it's a next-generation RPG, so, um... It may not come out until the next consoles. I think we're going to see announcements of the next generation of consoles next year. I really do. Um, I think maybe announcements next year, or at least 2020. Why am I so bad at video games? Um, and you know, the whole Elder Scrolls 6 trailer was just a hype moment, wasn't it? That game isn't coming out for like 50 years. No, I'm 100% I'm behind that we're going to see... Well, Xbox already talked that they're, they're already making a new um, console. They talked about it at their conference. They're working on a next generation console. They're the only manufacturer that talked about it. Xbox saying, yeah, we're working on the next one. Oh wow, he took out the jackal. I think uh, the Arbiter's AI is a better player of Halo than me. I want that. I want that carbine. I think it's still two years away, but yeah. I think we'll see it soon. And by soon, I think we'll see it next year. I think both the Xbox 2 and the PlayStation 5 will be um, 2020 releases. Which is going to be way too soon for some people. I think that's going to freak some people out. They're going to be like, I just bought a PlayStation, I just bought an Xbox, why are you doing this? And you got to see that, you know, tech is about... Thanks, Jackal! Stupid Jackal snipers. Tech is advancing so quick that these games companies don't want to get left behind, I feel. Where was that jackal that sniped me from above? There he is. Piece of poo. I see you now. Well, how many shots? Ridiculous. Oh, I should show the monkeys. Let me show you all the monkeys. This is an easter egg. This first level has a lot of weird stuff in it. Right? I don't know. Okay, I got. Well, here are the monkeys while I'm being shot. Can you stop shooting me? I'm gonna die. I'm dead. I showed the monkeys, alright? You got to see the monkeys with human faces. We're done. Let's leave. Unworthy of my blades. Alright, let's go. So many jackal snipers in this level. What were they thinking? Why is this not as accurate as I remember either?
Did they ever show the Xbox they were talking about that's sleeker than the Xbox One X? No, I don't think so. It was like, um, come on. It was like, flipping neck, flipping neck. Uh, I think they just, they called it Scarlet or something like that. The Xbox Scarlet is the project name for the next Xbox, which is going to be like the next gen one. Oh, Jesus. You're at a hotel waiting for your dinner. Well, hello. Welcome. Hopefully your first day back wasn't too terrible. Um. Was today your first day back or yesterday? yesterday, right? Yeah. I don't know why my brain just second-guessed itself. It was like, yesterday. And yes, I'm playing Halo 3. Halo 3 and Republic Commando are my two games until next week. And then as these games will probably only be about three streams long, we're going to then do Portal 2. And then we'll dive into doing Ocarina of Time in one sitting on my birthday next weekend, 23rd, which will be fun. They royally fucked up in your absence. Jesus. No one can do anything, can they? People are terrible. Why do other people exist? They can't do anything right. That's what I always say. Well, at least you're back and you can fix things now. Oh, you're putting them on. You're giving them all disciplinaries. Good. Idiots. They're all lazy and just doing it for the money. They're just sailing through life, putting zero effort in. Fire them all. Fire them all and hire new people. That's what I would do. I would just turn over my staff every two weeks. <laughs> They're like, you're fired! Oh, no, no, no. Get down from the tree, Jackal. I'm excited to stream Republic Commando because I feel like that's a game not a lot of people have seen. It's my one of my favorite Star Wars games. It's, in my opinion, the best thing to come out of the prequels, uh, along with like the Clone Wars TV show. Uh, animated show. I don't know why I just threw the bubble shield. I keep thinking X is reload when it's not. Um, it's a great, great original Xbox title, and uh, I'm going to be playing it on the Xbox One, which now has backwards compatibility for it. Uh, it's not as good as Knights of the Old Republic, but it's still a very fun Star Wars game set in, um, you know, set in you know first-person shooters, set in the Clone Wars. It's really cool. You want me to stream The Witcher already? That's not going to happen. Uh, the Witcher would take me like 900 streams <laughs> to finish. Can you imagine? Like, I start it in 2018 and it, I finish it and Cyberpunk comes out like the, a year later and then I just start playing uh, Cyberpunk. You haven't played The Witcher games, Sky. They're really good. I, I prefer... I think 2 is my favorite, personally. But I know everyone else loves, um, loves 3. Uh, two is my personal favorite. I just love the story in two. Um, one is very dated now, going back to one. Um, but two and two is great, and I think three is that open world, uh, endless RPG that people play for um, hundreds to thousands of hours. Like, I've seen people with stupid numbers of amount of time they put into that. They are on PC. All three are on PC. Um, you can pick them all up really cheap now. Um, with all their DLCs, they're they're pretty cheap. Someone should play Stardew Valley with you. There's no Stardew Valley multiplayer yet. It's only in beta, right? And it's only on PC, the beta, for the multiplayer? I don't think it's fully rolled out on consoles and uh, things like that yet. But it is cool. I like the idea of, like, cooperatively Again, farming together. Shoulder. Alright, final section of the level. Welcome, space mice. Are you a mouse wearing a space suit? Or are you a, a grouping of space objects, celestial objects, that's shaped like a mouse? That's the real question. See how they beat their trap? 
I will help you spring. You're a you're a mouse wearing a spacesuit. That makes sense. They've sent dogs into space. Why not mice too? Probably some mice snuck aboard like the Apollo missions. Totally possible. Totally possible. I forgot how I got. I'm gonna suck at some parts of this game on heroic. There's some later levels that I'm just bad at in general. <laughs> Are you related to Dormouse? Well, Dormouse is a mouse that lives on a door and is German. Space Mouse is a mouse that lives in space, but is um, not related to Earth in any way. Maybe he's a, a mouse from a different place. Because, uh, you know, many mice of di many different genders can live in space. This is the first level, Katie. Of course you know what level you this is. It's the start of the game. Sierra 117, first, le first mission. I'm doing three missions per stream. So these streams are going to be like two to three hours long. Because some of the missions can be real pains in the bum. Yeah, there's Dead Mouse. You're right, Dead Mouse. He's playing like the E3 final show, a party or something, right? He's like a DJ there. You placing bets Anthem will be delayed? I Some things are going to shift. I think everything's shifting out of this fall because of Red Dead, by the way. Because Red Dead's coming out, I think every game is just trying to get out of the way. Um, so I think um, we'll probably see... Um, I'm not. I do really don't want to fight that chieftain. Um, I think we'll see some other games shift if Anthem sticks with it, with February Sky. Um, I think that would make sense to see some games shift away from Anthem a little bit, just because it's a big ass game release. But who knows? We may be waiting even longer for Anthem. They may delay it even more. Um. Well, yeah, but there are certain games that have been not playable at E3 and then come out like two weeks later. <laughs> it happens. Where did where did the chieftain go? I'm slightly worried he's just gonna sneak up behind me. Right, neither of those grenades were anywhere near the jackals. Alright. I need to get used to the, how to throw grenades in this game. Well, people have played it. Like, there are YouTubers who have played Anthem behind closed doors. Like, I think Jack Frags and Datto are the two that I subscribe to who have both put up videos talking about their time playing the game and their impressions of it. I keep pressing X to reload. <laughs> I like playing games. I don't know if I'd enjoy the stress of making them. Yeah, get stuck, Grunt. See you later. Bye. Um, I'm playing this on heroic difficulty as well. Not, not normal and not legendary. I always refer to as like I say, normal is actually. That's, that's correct, that's normal. And then I would say easy is easy, that makes sense. And then heroic is hard, and then legendary is very hard. Uh, I don't want this stream series to go on for 900 years, which is what would happen if I was playing legendary. I also have played Halo 1 and 2 on heroic on, on stream, so I thought let's continue the tradition of playing on heroic. Like a million enemies just came out of nowhere then. The hell was that all about? Is it, that brute is having a good time. He's on a trampoline or something over there. Ready? Oh, no. He decided to stop bouncing just as I made the joke. Thanks, brute. Jesus. I mean, yeah, I'm playing on the Master Chief collection. T 
don't crash my game. No. Again, I keep pressing X to reload. I think that's Halo 2 controls is X to reload. I'll get used to it. We haven't fought the Chieftain yet, have we? Cut the power. We're even, long as we're only counting today. Kilo 2-3, what's your ETA? Imminent, Sergeant. Some cover. Where is the Chieftain? Roger that, Hocus. Friendly gunship, coming in hot. Oh, why did I just switch that for the carbine? No, oh, where's the carbine? There it is. I swear the car the, the chieftain has killed himself or something, because I don't I I don't know where he went. He's like committed suicide or something. Jesus, that brute. Oh, I'm dead. What's that? Fourth death? Fifth death? I don't know. I mean, an iPhone X, an iPhone 10 is vastly more expensive than a PS4. It's like three times more. But I understand your point of why you would want an iPhone 10 rather than a a PlayStation. Also, you don't game enough. Uh, you use your phone way more than you game, so it makes more sense for you to buy a phone than it does, you know, PlayStation. Get owned, brute. I snuck up on you. I really want to find out where the chieftain is um, with a hammer. I don't know what happened to him. We didn't fight him at all. Like we saw him at the beginning of the mission, and then he came running across the bridge and just as he's gonna be in here and he's gonna kick my ass. Oh, where the hell is he? Focus, Phantom. I see him. Stand by. Going loud. Oh. Well. Pelican killed the Phantom. Seriously, the chieftain has just disappeared. Stardew is also on like every console. It's even on Switch. Right, that's mission one done. Let's leave. Um. The cutscene at the start of Crow's Nest has one of my favorite lines of dialogue from Halo in it. IFF confirmed. Okay, to you, you now, L'Oreal. Roger that. What's the word, Kilo 2 3? Sierra 117 on board. Request priority clearance. Over. Next yours. Come on down. Well, I did think that cutscene was longer. I went to go get a drink. <laughs> Sorry hey, for King. the tight squeeze. King Caden. Commander, How's it going? In the hole. Yeah, this game is like 10 years old. It's crazy. Hey, check it out. No way. A Spartan? For real. You better not be. Oh, man, he's here. We're going to be Where all did you right. find him? Napping. Out back. <laughs> I'll bet. It's good to see you, Chief. Likewise, ma'am. Let's get you up to speed. The Prophet of Truth's ships breached the lunar perimeter, smashed what was left of the home fleet. Terrestrial casualties from the subsequent bombardment were extreme. Yeah, I like Truth the Marines in 3 too. I like Chief's armor in 3. All his forces here, East Africa, the ruins of New Mombasa. 
Then they started digging. It's weird that all of this. What about Halo? We stopped it, but only temporarily. All of this was going to be in Halo 2. Like the original plan for Halo 2 had all of this happening at the end of it. I'll talk about it more as we go on. Humanity, the Covenant, every sentient being in the galaxy. The rings will kill us all. Ma'am, I have Lord Hood. Patch him through. Good news, Commander Keys. Good as it gets, sir. So I see. What's your status, son? Green, sir. Cool. Glad to hear it. Commander's come up with a good plan, but without you, I wasn't sure we could pull it off. Truth's ships are clustered above the excavation site, and his infantry has deployed anti-aircraft batteries around the perimeter. But if we neutralize one of the batteries, punch a hole in Truth's defenses... I'll initiate a low-level strike. Hit him right where it hurts. I only have a handful of ships, Master Chief. It's a big risk, but I'm confident... You ready for it? Not again. Emergency generators, you are now! All of Shielding you fail. Vermin. They're down and charging. As soon as they're up, re-establish contact with Lord Hood. My favorite Let him one. Know. All of you vermin. So good! Cowering in the dirt, thinking, what? I wonder, that you might escape the coming fire? No. Your world will burn until its surface is but glass. And not even your demon will live to creep blackened from its hole to mar the reflection of our passage. The culmination of our journey. For your destruction is the will of the gods. And I... I am their instrument. Cocky bastard just loves to run his mouth. Does he usually mention me? <laughs> Give the order. We're closing shop. Ma'am? We're about to get hit. All personnel, the wounded. Code Alpha We're getting all of them out. Immediate evacuation. I have to carry them myself. Ma'am, squad leaders are requesting a rally point. Where should they go? To war. There we go. That's a good volume. We just lost the perimeter. Thanks for the follow, Kincaden. Uh, the Halo plus is confusing, is it? Oh god, I've been playing these games for like half of my life so I've read all the books <laughs> seen everything there is to do I mean I'm like I live and breathe Halo it's like one of my favorite franchises it's up there with Zelda for me I love Halo uh, and yeah you're right Bam the uh, Lord Hood uh, who you saw on the screen before Truth came on he is voiced by Ron Perlman the same uh, voice actor as the narrator in Fallout Yeah, you have only played three and four. You haven't played one or two. Really? One and one and two are... I, I think two is my favorite Halo game. Follow me, sir. On, sir. Perimeters this way. Right. Let's do it. Oh, wait. Give me the BR back. No, I don't... I want the... I want a dual-wheeled SMGs. It's been too long. Sergeant. Agreed. Master Chief, get there. Following, sir. I always get a little bit lost on Crow's Nest. This level is a bit. Oh, is Chief. it? Yeah, Crow's Nest, right? This channel is secure. It's a weird level. My fire teams are spread thin. We can't hold out forever. I need that hangar clear for evac ASAP. I'm gonna turn down the volume in my own headphones because she's very loud. Bye bye. Oh, dual SMGs. It's been too long. I love the way they sound in Halo 3. Yeah, the Storm is a really good mission. Um, I like Floodgate and uh, the Ark as well. They're both really good missions. And of course, the the final level is iconic in this game. I love it. Okay, enough dual SMGs. Enough dual SMGs. I'm dead. Oh Jesus, is our baby called your subscription? That's terrifying. But congrats on the nine months. 
And uh, maybe the, maybe our baby's got quality options. <laughs> oh, I uh, I play through Halo games on heroic. This is heroic difficulty. Uh, the, I've, I've streamed Halo 1 and 2 as well, and I've played those through on Heroic. No demon, that's just what people who have known me for a very long time call me. Like, most of my friends from school call me Matty. Or, as is pronounced up here in the north, Matty. There's no T sound in it, it's just Matty. It's like M-A-Y-E. Matty. Plasma pistol. Oh, kind of was hoping I had plasma grenades. Oh, no! Yeah, there we go. Beautiful. Oh, no! Go away, carbine snipers. No, nope, nope, too many jackals. I just stuck that grunt. That was incredible. Stupid jackal. Carbine uses. At least this level isn't super long. It's just this level has way too much backtracking in it, in my opinion. Sava Highway is the next level, and I love Sava Highway. Sava Highway may be my one of my like in my top five Halo levels, like overall out of all games. Which is why I'm glad to be playing it tonight. Oh, that guy seems to be voiced by Adam Baldwin. Of uh, Firefly Flame. Flame. Fame. Because no, um, Nolan North's in this game. Um, Nathan Fillion is in this game. And Adam Baldwin is in this game. They're all extra voices. They all voice Marines in this game. And then they go on to become the voices of the main ODSTs in Halo 3 ODST. Because, you know, Nathan Fillion becomes Book. Um, and then you've got uh, Nolan North as Romeo. And Adam Baldwin as the heavy weapons guy that I always forget the name of. Dutch? I think it's Dutch. So there you go. Where am I from, Kincaiden? I'm from up north. Up north. Uh, I grew up just outside Hull. Um, and I currently live in Hull. And I'm moving back to where I grew up next month. Which is a village just outside Hull. And then um, I lived in Birmingham for a couple of years. But, you know, my accent is just very northern. But um, many people... Um, weirdly, when I, whenever I've met, because I have a lot of weird Americanisms with the way I pronounce words, so many people have asked me where in America I'm from, and I'm like, no. I get it way too often. No, 100% Engl England. England. Um, I remember back in the Minecraft days when I was doing conventions and stuff, um, this this kid's mum said, um, "Well, you've got a really strange accent. Where in a, where in America have you you flown in from?" This was one of the ones, like I think it was when we did a conference in Telford. And I said, "No, I'm from I'm from Hull up north." And she's like, y "You don't sound like you're from Hull. You've got a very kind of posh and American voice." And I'm like, "No, <laughs> it was it was one of the." I don't know why. Like, I don't think I sound American, like, even the slightest. But hey, it happened. How did I... Yeah, I know exactly. I'm, I'm most definitely not. I agree with you guys. Did I get stuck or did a plasma grenade land next to me or something? Come on. Don't know why I 
figure that out, but you know. Thanks for watching, Caden. See you later. Right as I throw the grenade, of course. It could have been a suicide grin that killed me last time. I'm kind of sad we didn't get an MCC on, for PC camp. announcement at E3. Clear. I would have liked this game on PC. It's only now you realize um, you sound posh. But no, you, you sound southern, which in itself is posh. Like, there's the, the great British divide of the, the posh and the northern. And then you've got Scottish, Welsh, and Irish. Although the Welsh are pretty posh sounding when they speak English, too. Chief, op center, double time. Roots are pressing hard. Turn back around. up a deployable cover and I'll go grab some more ammo for the BR yeah so no when the, the, the Welsh when they speak English um, the ones I've met anyway they have a very posh twang to their English accents but again it's because they're southern anything below Manchester is posh <laughs> welcome to the north Are the red versus blue guys around here? Let's see. I can't remember if this is the whole way they spawn in. Oh, maybe it was earlier. I think it's this door, but maybe it has to be earlier in the uh, in the level, and I've missed it. It's cool that they gave the red versus blue guys like all cameos in this game, and they they change and their dialogue changes. And the characters change depending on the version of the difficulty you're playing. I'll go check down here. I don't think it's down here, but it could be. No, they're not over here. No. I don't think so. Yeah, I'm pretty psyched for Cyberpunk. I've always wanted, like, sci um, CD Projekt Red to do, like, a a crazy sci-fi game because the depth in the Witcher games is so good that I'm so glad they're doing this uh, like crazy sci-fi game. It's gonna be awesome. Coming out of the vents. Bloody drones! Bloody drones! I like how the Microsoft conference ended with it as well, like it was a big reveal and I'm, I'm happy about it. It's just a shame we haven't seen gameplay yet. Hopefully we won't have to wait too long. Why didn't you tell me about Cyberpunk before? Um, you mean when I told you about the Bethesda games? Uh, I just forgot to tell you about it, but I mean it's been announced for four or five years that after The Witcher 3 they were working on Cyberpunk. So it's not like a surprise that that's what they're that, you know, that's what CD Projekt Red are working on. It's just cool that they've shown a new CG trailer for it. Oh, well, actually, it's not CG. Sorry, I said CG. It's in-engine gameplay. It's in-engine, so it's not gameplay. It's just, you know, showing what the world looks like. Yeah, I think I've told you about Cyberpunk before, yeah. yeah. I just don't think I told you about its reveal at E3. I just think I've told you about it in the past in general. Um... Because um, I think, because I said, because you told me how much you loved Witcher 3, I said, oh, well, the next game's going to be this, like, hard sci fi shooter game, which is, like, an open world RPG. Um, which is cool. Why is there just a bomb here? 
Understood. She crazy, Johnson. See you on the last pelican out. Follow me, Chief. Thanks for watching, Sky. See you later. Brutes have taken the barracks. Marines are trapped inside. Those apes ain't much for mercy, Chief. We both know what they do to prisoners. All right, let's go. Get to the barracks. Save those men. And then escort them to the landing pad for evac. Oh, we got a chieftain here. A fresh scent. That probably did nothing of what I wanted, but hey, I got one kill. Oh no! I'm alive. Did you splash bang me? Come and get me. Have a grab lift. Haha! -ha! Don't have your cover anymore, do you, fool? Grab lifted his cover out of the face. Welcome back, Space Mouse. Space Mice, Mouse, Mace, Mouse, Moose, Moose, Mouse. Space Moose would be kind of creepy, actually. Where would its antlers go? Would it have to have, like, a huge space helmet to go over the antlers? Okay, hello. No, melee! God damn it! I'm alive. Look at how much portable cover they're putting down. You're trying to be sensible, but you want alcohol. Sounds like you. Oh, I don't. Oh, I think that spike grenade stuck me. I think it got me right in in the old glutes. Are you measuring for furniture still? I don't know if enemies like AI are even affected by that. The flashbang. Come with me if you want to live. Oh god! No! No 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 I'm noping out of this situation! Oh my god. Seriously, brute chieftain's a little bit terrifying to fight. He put invincibility up as well. I am retreating. No, don't, don't, no! How many no's did I say in one sentence then? I'm like crazy frog. I just accidentally threw this portable cover down as well. Oh look, he's clipping through a wall. Don't kill me. Kill yourself. Yeah, do that. That's much better. Oh, I stuck him on the foot! Yeah, the gravel lift lifts things if they run over, including enemies. I don't know where the chieftain is this time. They're just they're throwing so many shields down. Where is the chieftain? Is he with this wave? 
of enemies? Or has the game spared me after being hit by his hammer? on anything but easy so is always terrifying. He's he's manageable on normal, but on legendary I hate fighting them, but heroic they're also pretty intimidating. Hey! Use your invincibility so I don't have to go and do it. You're gonna trigger it. Oh no he's dead! I got him! I'm gonna pick up his hammer. Wait for it. So did you count? There he is. Yeah. Well, that was fun while it laughed. It lasted. Lasted. Down we go. You have been called upon to serve. It's like uh, in E3 when uh, everyone kept saying words wrong. Like, there were so many instances of that. Me saying laughed it is, you know, tip of the iceberg stuff of how badly some people pronounce some words. Or mispronounce words, like, accidentally, I, I should say. Laughed it, I said. Laughed it. Instead of lasted, because I can't speak English. Brutes down. Another one down. Another one bites dust! Sticky him on his leg. This is a shield disruptor, right? Oh no, radar jammer. Okay, that's not that fun. Wheel! Thanks for that. We've got to have some good sex jokes in chat. Jesus, Arbiter. Save some kills for me. Can you both live that? Jesus. Die. grenades at me. I mean, my AI ally could be helping here, but you know. Oh, he's got a bubble shield up. Jesus, he knew I was here. He called my bluff. He sunk my battleship. More brutes. And he just put up a bubble shield, because of course he did. Him. Throw the flashbang out. Okay. Near the end of the level now. We just got to fight through these hallways. And then um, we'll be at the landing pad. Oh, that's a turret chieftain. There 
he is. I want him dealt with. I want him club ammo. That's not a word. He's down. I'm gonna die. Totally fine. Oh no, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm fine. Absolutely fine. We did all we could. Let us move the survivors up to the hangar. There is a lift outside. How does the arbiter know what a lift is? Commander, we lost the op center. Brutes attacked in force. Couldn't hold them off. Bye, see you all later. See, even in single player games, I'm mean to the people I play with. <laughs> I just leave them behind. Oh, I've got movement above my envelope. Oh no, I've been teleported here. They're going after the thrusters. Shake them off, Lieutenant. You descend in a lift, is it a lift anymore? I guess so. Let's 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 rename it to a a shifty majigger. There we go. That works both ways now. Go up in the shifty majigger, go down in the shifty majigger. Perfect. Oh good. I got into cover and someone directly across from me killed me. Go this way? Am I becoming blind? I have to become blind. Yeah, shifty majigger. I like that it's better than a, than a lift or an elevator. A shifty majigger. Why aren't I the, the, the human namer of things? I wouldn't have named anything what it's actually named. This is a fairly intense fight, actually, especially on Heroic, because there's so many brutes. And they, like most of them have brute shots or fast firing weapons, so you've got either extreme, like constant rapid fire. You've got carbines as well, which are so painful they do so much damage. But the brute shots are the worst because they can just pin you down so quick. Stand in there? Hi! I'm hoping one of those things stands on a trip mine. Oh, come on! I was stood out there to shoot the fusion core. Shake them off, Lieutenant. So close. Literally, I was at the next stage then as well. So close. Oh, 
Did the arbiter just run into my own trip mine? I'm gonna die again. I don't know how I'm alive. I really don't know how I'm alive. I would have pulled out his sword. He's like, yeah, I'm a badass now. Did, I think one of the brutes just went, our food has taken cover. Can you imagine saying that on a hunt? Oh look, the deer's gone and taken some cover. No. I don't think the Master Chief would taste too good. Just just saying, brutes. Or maybe they were talking about the Arbiter. We're allies. The, we're allies. I'm sorry that you got in the way of me shooting. There's many. I got a checkpoint though. Progress is being made. You swinging back around? Sweet. Let's do this. Drones, go! I'll cover you. Go! Go! <laughs> Get in the damn thing! Get me in the vehicle! Get me in the Pelican! We're not going. I always just like to try to see if we can ever like lock ourselves into it. I think it just throws you off. Like if I try climbing on top, they disarmed the bomb. Sorry, Commander, there were too many, even for me. I think there's a death barrier. Kill those brutes. Rearm the bomb. I've got to get these men out of here. But I'll radio with another exit. Good luck. I also can't remember if this thing ever even takes off. I know it definitely does. Okay, we're going for a ride. Okay. There's the death barrier. Hey, that was pretty high up. Oh no, we have to we have to fight the brutes again. I forgot how long this level was, actually, now thinking about it. There's way more to it than I remembered. Hi, hi, Marines. Can I thank you? The yeah. uh huh. Thanks. Last one out. Get the lights. Brutes in the op center. They disarmed the bomb. Sorry, Commander. There were too many. You Even will be the protectors of Earth and all her colonies. Chief, get back to the op center. Kill those brutes. Rearm the bomb. Rearm the bomb. I've got to get these men out oh, of hi, here. Grunt. But I'll radio hi, with grunt. another exit. Good luck. Well, thankfully, no other grunt ran. What the hell are you two doing? Hiding behind the box like two lost lovers. Sorry, I broke up your romance. I was gonna say, I'm glad no grunt ran and got back on this turret. Oh god. This is a deadly hallway. Whew. Okay, I have no ammo! Leave me alone. Gee, oh, I don't. I do have ammo. I forgot. I lied. Yes, you can stop working uh, three hours ago. Don't bring your work home with you. There ain't no rest for the wicked. That's your theme song. Oh no, jackal snipers and grunts and turrets. No. Oh, the jackal snipers got me. I've got to 
gotta get these men out of here. But I'll radio with another exit. Good luck. Money don't grow on trees. I got bills to pay, mouths to feed. Just keep, just keep dropping them all. Dropping all them lyrics. Ain't nothing in this world free. This is what this is what happens in Halo streams. You get me singing. It's the best. <laughs> Not for people's ears. It's just the best for you know. Now people on the internet have a place to go if they want to become deaf. If they ever want to experience what you know losing their hearing is like. Service tunnel to the, the grunts keep getting back on there. I don't remember what goes after that either, demon. Ain't no risk for the wicked. There you go. That's it. Life goes on. What does that acronym stand for? Um, let's investigate fucking eggs gallivantly on east sun ovaries never <laughs> I don't know why those are the words I just chose <sighs> demon that's your fault I blame everything on you no no snipers again every time Jackal snipers are the worst. East sun ovaries never. Yeah, that's the sentence, right? That makes sense. It was going moderately okay until I got to east sun ovaries never. It kind of made sense. What is this YouTube link? Which I cannot open. Well, I definitely need to get ammo. There's nothing in here, though. I have no carbine ammo. Maybe I take a beam rifle with me instead of the carbine. Let's go. This is going to be the worst fight. I'm going to die so many times. Oh, I like that they're talking to, to um, Truth. Double no scope. Triple no scope. Quadruple no scope. Oh! It was moderately cool. And he's down. Quick switch. Oh! A brute on a turret. Hit the switch, Chief. Bomb that bomb. That did it, Chief. Bomb's armed. We got your exit. A service elevator in the hangar. Head downstairs, cut through the caves. As in, go back the way we've already been twice in this level already. Go away from me. Yeah, we basically have to fight back to the beginning of the level. Well, this is clear. Yeah. Dormouse is on a train. Mice can go on trains now? Since when was that legal? Germany's very forward thinking. Allowing mice to travel on, on trains? Some good, uh, good advancement of animal kind there. Animal rights, you know. Now we're at the end of the level, by the way. This is like the escape. And then we get to play well, arguably one of my favorite levels in the game, Server Highway. Big fan. There will be a great deal of hardship on the road ahead. Mm. 
So I think probably out of almost any game in my life, Halo 3 might be one of the ones that I have the most hours in. Because I've made so many... Oh, that's a lot of drones. I made so many machinimas and so many videos and played it over and over and over and over again. Um, that I've probably got something like 10,000 hours in it and that's been generous. I made like a lot of machinimas in, in Halo 3. I always come and check over here. I think it's the start of the level when the RVB guys are there. But I, I think maybe this and Ocarina of Time are probably my two big games that I've, I've played too much in my life. I would definitely describe I've played these games too much. You will become the best we can make you. Okay, Cortana. Creepy Cortana. Doing creepy things. Saying creepy things. Being creepy. Being a creepy purple lady. That, that grunt just flew pretty far. As soon as I hit it. It's like gravity didn't take effect. I'm moving. I'm getting to the elevator. I'm running. I'm in. I'm in the elevator. Let's go. Oh, there we there goes the bomb. This place will become your home. And crashing into the next level. This place will become your tomb. If this was Mass Effect 2, they would have been the two missions I would do in a night. Although, Mass Effect's two missions were way shorter than I remembered. They were like 30 minutes each. Halos are always like between 40 and like a minute, an hour 10, depending on how you play them. Um, unless you, you know, speed running the levels. Head to the town of Voy. <coughs> Settle down, Marine. Somebody hit the emergency power. You can walk. Chief's got the right idea. Let's mount up. Get the hell out of these caves. Let's go. Come on, Marines. I'll get the door, sir. Who's getting the door? Oh, this guy. Here we go, Sava Highway. Boy, am I glad to see you, Chief. So I suppose this is a good time to talk about how this, like the first half of this game was all planned to be at the end of Halo 2 and they had to cut it. So there's concept art and everything for what is referred to as the portal, so the, the big thing they're digging, the Covenant are digging out here. Um, there was concept art for that for Halo 2, and the Halo 2 is meant to end with you getting there and that being activated and it was referred to as the Ark in in those early concepts because we all thought it was the Ark when we first saw it obviously now 10 years later we know that the, the Ark was not this portal that we discover in this game um, but yeah they originally you know this game was gonna uh, Halo 2 was gonna end with Chief coming back to Earth and doing like a mission or two getting to the point where you see like the middle of this game be which is pretty cool but you know it's a shame that it never happened I kind of just drive through these sections as well I only fight a couple of them There's kind of a, oh, if I didn't flip the hog. No, don't. Okay, now we're screwed. Oh, 
Well, yeah, I have to sit still for the Marines to get back in. I'm dead. Woo! I have them in my sight. But yeah, the route I'm taking is one of the, the quickest routes through the level. I just kind of just deal with it. If I can drive. Why? Why? I've, I used to do this route so often, especially on, on co-op. Stay on target. Yeah, I never, I never focus about killing the enemies in this section. I just get to the, the chopper section, which is the next area. There we go. That's well, I flipped it again. Right. I'm just gonna stop playing this game like a maniac because clearly I'm, I'm terrible. Good. Yeah, doing real good, Matt. 10 out of 10 for playing video games. Oh, that stick from that brute spike grenade. That was really good. Congrats. Give that give that AI a medal. He deserves a raise. All right, we'll go this way. Straight into the enemies. Avoid being rolled. Your boss is calling you, GG. My convoy's been hit. So this is the the area I always remember um, in Halo 3, especially this level. I remember this this moment in Sava Highway so much. Come on, get away from them. Get away from them. And we're good. Hey, that was all pretty good driving. I kind of timed all of that well. And they've switched seats to their driving now, which is good. I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. This vehicle here, this is the Brute Chopper. It's like a, a hover motorcycle. It's only in... Halo 3? I'm pretty sure it never comes back in any other game. But it's uh, it's pretty good. I like it. Is there not a sniper up here? Oh no, there is a sniper and he's hitting me. Where is he? He's up in this tower! Got him. That brute just stood in the entranceway. So scared of me. Alright, come on then. Let's play ball. Oh no, drones! Run! No, he's on me! He's attacking me! They're on me! Ah, no! Get off! I'm fine. Nothing bad happened. Hey Charlie, how's it going? Let's go this way. Here come the drones. Slowly back up. Oh no. Oh no. I'm doing pretty good, thanks. It's a nice to have a, a long stream break for E3, which was very fun to watch. But things are back now. We are in full swing with a two-game stream schedule, alternating between them every day. Which is how it should be. Mass Effect kind of 
enveloped my stream schedule for two months. So, well, since like the end of April. So it's nice that we're in June. Finished Mass Effect 1 and 2, and now we're playing some different things. This moment's so cool. I think this is the first glimpse you can see as well of the portal. Yeah. See this huge vast shape going up over there. You're enjoying the long streams? Yeah. Three missions a day. I mean, some of these streams are going to be like over three hours, I think. Oh, Jesus. Chopper, what are you doing? No. Because uh, some of the missions are way longer than these, so. All right, here we go. Here we go. Jump! No! Well, you can't really ever get vehicles over there. You're not supposed to, anyway. But here's the, the proper view. Master Chief, finally a good connection. Truth has excavated a Forerunner artifact. We have to assume it's the Ark. Keep pushing to the town of I love this. This is like one of my favorite skyboxes Bungie ever made. So cool looking. How I'm gonna get back up there? I don't know. Maybe try jumping on this? Nope. There's probably a really easy way to get up and I'm just making it difficult for myself. There we go. pretty warm here now like it's like a muggy 21 22 degrees here so it's like super close and I haven't got my fan on so it's just it's just a warm mess here it's not hot I would describe it as warm hardcore parkour indeed it was it was the hardcoreist of parkourist Because I've skipped like half this level by driving through it fast on a warthog, the this, this second half of the level will um, not take super long. Probably like half an hour. Paul Marine just tried to punch a brute. Saved his life. Unloaded a full clip, and I won. Oh god, he's got a fuel rod. We got him. I loved this time in gaming, like, Halo 3, what was it, 2007 this game came out? It was such a good Sir, year. Recon spotted Covenant armor ahead. Pelicans are inbound with heavy weapons. We need to hold out until we arrive. I have to try to get this down really quickly. There we go. Run back up here. Drop the fuel rod for the sniper. Oh, missed that shot. better at no scope Oing! with the um Jesus Christ. 
Christ, with the uh, beam rifle. Not happy that you're here, though. Go away. Go away. Did I kill the one with the um, fuel rod? Don't know. I don't know. But yeah, here he is. Where did your fuel rod go? Huh? There it is. Whoop, there it is. Got there's so many of them. There's way too many brutes here. Oh Jesus, that was way too close. Shielded. This is the start of the time when Bungie started toying with abilities as well, like equipment that you could carry and abilities you could use. They um, doubled down on it a lot more in Halo Reach, but this was the start of what, you know, they're messing with what would later be called Spartan abilities. Like you could have a bubble shield, you could have jetpacks, you could have. Um, you know, invisibility, hologram clone stuff. I'm being very cautious in this fight, just in general. Because I knew he was still alive. I swear that second shot went through him. Can't see shit. I just threw a flare on myself because I'm real clever. Real clever. Oh god, Wraith. And I didn't have I don't have any. Oh yeah, just keep getting blind, that's fine. Just keep throwing down the, the, the blinding. Blinding, blinding blinds, that's what they're called. They're not flash grenades, they're the blinding blinds. I don't have like, any heavy weapons with ammo left. I'm trying to take out the guy on the turret first. No! There we go, we got him. Let's play this cautiously. Aha! What are you gonna do now? Oh god, I, I jumped off. Yeah, have have one of these. I got it. That encounter went much better than I thought it was gonna. Yeah, that wasn't terrible. That was a, a fairly competent um, fight we just had, and I didn't die, surprisingly, from what I remember. I am out of ammo for this. I should just pick something else up. I'll drive. Let me shoot. I'm trained for this. Join the hey, fight, wait, wait. Team. What do you, what do you do? I'm driving. Yeah, you do call shotgun, because I'm driving. Sniper, get down. Poop, poop. That brute just isn't going up the gravel lift. That's a chopper! These are all choppers! Okay, I'm gonna have to do some circles. I would quite like a chopper. Uh, that one's good. Um, but I want to take these ones out first. Yo, aim at the turrets, please. Right, you drive. You two switch seats. 
switch seats. Switch seats, thank you, they're finally doing it. I think I just shot someone out of the troop wall. Okay, drive straight, just drive in a straight line. Last encounter of the level and the stream for tonight. So this is a fairly long one. Let's pick up everything we can. Some the fuel rod. Won't say no to that. Some VR ammo. Here our marine friends have arrived. Let's go marine friends. I think there's two wraiths in this area, one up there, one down somewhere. I miss, like, full-on classic Halo vehicle combat like this, especially when I get stuck on a piece of scenery like that. So classic Halo. Trying to kill me? You're trying to kill me? Stupid brute on a chopper? I'm a chief on a chopper. Cooler than you. Cooler than you. What is that song? It's like, you got the sound of shit, just to hide your poop. I don't know that song. Something like that. And then the chorus is, because you're cool than me. Alright, here's the other, here's the other wraith, which I'm worried about. Oh god, I'm gonna die. Yeah. I should have turned around. Cooler than me, my Mike Posner. That's the one. I don't know. That's all I know from that song. Oh, he boosted through me. That's death 912. Die already. Yeah, you, you, you jump out. Yeah, you do that. Aha! You didn't think me I would jump up on the cliffs, did you? Oh no! Run! I think the Warhawk is dead. Yep, it is dead. Oh no, it's still got a turret going. No, it'll be dead now though. No, 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 I am too. The main thing you'll have for is the Spyro uh, Reignited Trilogy. Interesting. Um, I'm, I'm excited to play that, but considering it's just a remaster of three games I loved as a kid, um, you know, it's um, you know not my most excited thing. I think I'm mo for this year. I think I'm probably most hyped for good question for this year. Either Smash Bros or Assassin's Creed. I'm excited for quite a lot for this year, though. I think. Oh, uh, the third. Uh, I should. I should have specified. So, like, third party. I'm most excited for is Assassin's Creed. Um, Nintendo. I'm most excited for is Smash Bros. Uh, Sony I'm most excited for is uh, Spider-Man. Easily Spider-Man. Spider-Man might be my most hyped game of the year. Uh, Microsoft, what have they got coming out this year to be excited about? I don't even know. I really enjoyed the Nintendo um, conference yesterday. It was a lot of fun. It was very heavy focus on uh, Smash Bros. Yeah, Spider-Man is like my jam, like I'm a massive Marvel fan, I've been reading the comics since I was 8, so... Uh, it seems, it's like my perfect game, that Spider-Man game. 
Um, and I think that's it that's coming out this year. I'm dead again. This Warthog just saved my life. Okay, now here I'm gonna die. Um, what else am I excited for? What's coming out this year? I don't know. There's like a a grouping of time between. Is this dead? Is this blow up or is this active? Oh, it's active. Huh. Yeah, there's a grouping of time between like September and October that has like two games coming out every week. Anthem is coming out in February. Oh, Red Dead Redemption is the other game I'm excited for this year. Of course, Red Dead Redemption. Um, but other than that, like those are the games this year that I'll be super, super hyped for. Um, Pokemon on, on Switch will be pretty fun. Revisiting Kanto. Long time Pokemon fan. One more place to go now, don't you? Yeah, there is a lot of hype for Cyberpunk, but we don't even know if that's going to be out on this generation of consoles. Like, is it even going to be out in the next two years? I'm hoping it's next year, but they didn't announce anything. Less than 12 months. I guess that makes sense, yeah, Demon. It is less than 12 months away. So, what, seven months away? I did kill one of ours, that marine sounded so distraught. He should have got out of the way. Come on! Gotta barge through. Yep, final encounter of the mission. thought I would do it in a wraith. Make it nice and easy. <laughs> and then watch me die in about four seconds. Oh, they put up a bubble shield. That was a really good call. They would have both got to kill by my first shot then. There we go. Finally, it's down. So dead. Oh no! Oh, that was that was very close. We've got a turret chieftain in here as well. So we've seen it, all three versions of the chieftain now as well. We've got the main hammer chieftain, and you've got a fuel rod chieftain, and you've got a turret chieftain. Is that it? Are we done? Have we finally beaten the level? I think it I think we have. Dormouse, you arrive right as the third and final mission of the Lord night Hood. ends. We made it. Music to my ears, Commander. What about the Ark? Fully uncovered, sir. And we don't have much time. Marines? The prophet of truth doesn't know it yet, but he's about to get kicked right off his throne. You will take our city back and drive our enemy into the grave they've been so happily digging. One final effort is all that remains.
So tomorrow we will kick things off with the storm, followed by floodgate, and then I think the mission called the ark. What is this? What what achievement did I just get? Oh, I beat the par score. Wow. Didn't even think I did that well on that mission, but the game thinks I did. So I'll take it. I'll take it, game. So this is where we'll be starting tomorrow. Let me quit out. So yeah, the three. There's nine missions in Halo Three, so we'll do three per stream. I think is a nice, nice amount. So today we did uh, Sierra One One Seven. Or I guess we watched Arrival. Sierra One One Seven, Crow's Nest, and Savo Highway, and then um, we'll do the Storm, Floodgate, and the Ark uh, on Friday stream. Yeah, Friday stream, and then on Monday stream we'll do the Covenant, Cortana, and Halo. So there we go. And that'll be the game. So then next week we'll pick up a new game, middle of the week. We'll probably start Portal 2 next week. And uh, that'll lead us nicely into my birthday, which is a week this Saturday on the 23rd. Where I'm going to be doing a 10 to 15 hour stream. Where I will be playing through The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time in one sitting. So what's tomorrow's stream? Tomorrow's stream is Star Wars Republic Commando. Uh, which is every mm, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. Halo 3 is Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So yeah, Thursday tomorrow. So that'll be Star Wars Republic Commando, which I feel, like, like I said earlier, it's an underrated, brilliant first-person shooter. It's a first-person squad shooter in based in the Clone Wars of the Star Wars universe. And it is a lot of fun. And it has three main story missions in that game so i'll do i'll just do one story mission per stream and both that and halo 3 will have three streams to it um i would say halo 3 is about an eight hour experience eight to nine hour experience um and i would say that um republic commando is just a smidge longer than that maybe like an extra 10 20 minutes longer anyway that is going to be that i'll see you all tomorrow for some star wars republic commando and then more halo 3 this Friday. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all next time. Goodbye!